Last week I went out and used both the OnePlus 5T and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus to shoot some live music. Curious if you can notice a difference? Let's find out! So let's quickly go over the specs of these phones. The OnePlus 5T has a dual camera setup, one of which is a 16 megapixel camera and the other is a 20 megapixel camera. Aperture for both is 1.7 and OnePlus makes use of electronical image stabilization instead of the optical image stabilization offered by most flagships these days. The Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus on the other hand only has a single camera setup, making use of a 12 megapixel sensor and also an aperture of 1.7. Unlike the OnePlus, the Galaxy S8 Plus does use optical image stabilization. So both those clips you just saw were straight out of the phone. I did nothing to either the audio or the video except for normalizing the volume levels and I'll let you be the judge and the quality of both. I'll now load up two files shot by the OnePlus 5T and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus to check if we can find a difference in audio quality. We'll first load up the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus's video file and as you can see here the audio recorded by the Samsung cuts off at a frequency of 20,000 Hz which conveniently is the upper range of human hearing, ranging from 20 to 20,000 Hz. Now let's see how the OnePlus 5T handles its audio. The analyzed files from both phones were shot at the same time, and as we can see in the graph, the OnePlus cuts off audio at around 17,000 Hz, which is well below Samsung's 20,000. So as long as you're above the age of 25, you probably won't miss a thing since it's fairly common for people over that age to only hear up until 15,000 Hz. Now let's take a look at the codecs being used for encoding the audio and video. This could provide us with more insight into the difference we see in the frequency cutoff for both phones. And as media info shows us, the Samsung encodes its audio at a 256 kilobits per second bitrate. When loading up the video file that the OnePlus 5T shot, Media info shows us that the audio is encoded at a 96 kilobits per second bitrate, which seems quite low when compared to the Samsung. Are you able to tell the difference? Let me know down below in the comments, as this video is about to get wrapped up. Thanks for watching and/or listening. Take care.